Hello everyone. I have some bad news to share with you. Yep, it's the dead horse that keeps on giving. Creator Clash 2 was a charity boxing event with different internet personalities. Idubs, the person who runs the event, just announced not only was it unprofitable, none of the money is going to charity and they lost a quarter million dollars. I could talk about how stupid it is to think that higher production costs means higher viewership. I could talk about the abysmal PR leading up to the event on several fronts. I could talk about how big of a failure it is that they weren't able to give anything to charity after marketing the event as a charity event. I could mock the concept of fighters processing their trauma. What it all comes down to though is, Ian and Anissa need to sell Creator Clash before they ruin the reputation of the event or they financially ruin themselves. <sighs> yeah, you mentioned you gotta start earning money again. Are you guys not earning anything right now? No. No. <laughs> oh boy. We're, we have not earned money for the past two years, which makes taxes very easy. Hey, That's good. Nice. <laughs> Apparently, they were offered seven figures for Creator Clash from Fox. I wonder if you guys can, like, sell Creator Clash almost and get a payday that way. Well, we, we've been offered. Already? To, yeah, yeah. By Fox. Fox? Whoa. Yeah. We said no. What, <laughs> seven figures? Uh... How much was I it? think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. seven figures. Yeah. The reason why they're not selling it is because it's too special and it would lose its soul. We said no and we're, we're never gonna do anything like that yeah. just because it's, it's too special. It loses its soul. What, the event that you started out of spite of rice gum? The event you weren't able to properly promote after making fun of the way other people promote their events? The event that, at best, is just more influencer boxing and at worst is a charity catastrophe. An event so special that it's still causing him grief months after and he doesn't know how Creator Clash 3 is going to even work. All I'm trying to do right now uh, in making this video is to remedy it. Uh, that's sort of what I've been grappling with over the past couple of months is like, what the hell are we going to do? You know, I can't even think about doing a Creator Clash 3. We lost money and there's no money for charity. So what are we going to do to solve that? I, I don't... <laughs> I don't have a good solution. I just don't get why they're so attached to managing an event they don't even seem to understand. With the drama leading up to Creator Clash 1, the drama leading up to Creator Clash 2, the failures in marketing and PR, and the attention this takes away from Ian's other projects, it doesn't make any sense to me as to why they would want to continue to put themselves through this. Idubs is spreading himself far too thin. He's trying to be a boxer, he's trying to be a boxing promoter, he's trying to be a YouTuber, and he's trying to be a video game developer. Yes, Idubs has been working on a game called Pocket Squirrel with the guy who made Katana Zero, which is actually a good game. It's been in production steadily. We'll take, you know, nine month long breaks, you know what mm, I mean? Okay, that's not super steady. My point is, they're not making any money, they're not raising money for charity, and for both events, Ian's reputation has taken a hit because their PR management skills are dog shit. If I were Ian, I'd be looking at Creator Clash like it's a bad omen. He doesn't even seem to care about boxing. I, I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't love boxing. <laughs> Uh, it's, I, I find it to be very challenging and very difficult to do. Um, and so it's not, you know, when I go into the gym every day, it's like not, uh, therapeutic or it hasn't been very therapeutic for me, um, or fun. So why not just sell Creator Clash and let it be somebody else's problem? Even if iDubs does devote all of his time and effort to Creator Clash 3, I don't see how that would help because that's basically what he did for Creator Clash 2 and that was a failure. And how would they handle the PR for Creator Clash 3? Make it even more sanitized? They'll be mocked relentlessly. So I say, sell Creator Clash, get it away from the iDubs name, give it to somebody who knows what they're doing. Maybe that will give iDubs the space he desperately needs to start fixing his image. All right, that's gonna have to do it for this one. Shout out to the best subscriber squad in all of YouTube. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Yes. Well, we, we, you need to make money to survive and you're not the only one that's talked to us about it.